All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double my honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit, a lot going on in the earth with the reporters, the watchmen. Through the spirit of your how about Shemel Shah, of course, with the message, man. <laughs> Repent, Israel, unique roles, Latins, and Native Americans. Repent, turn back. It, it, it's really going down. The, the, the Lord's starting to shake things up. Let's get in. I'm, I'm just flowing in the spirit. Whatever the spirit feeds me with, I'm going to feed you with. This is the first one I want to get, though. I want to get um, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Um, we'll, we'll start at 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai, that everyone may receive the things done in his body. Everyone's going to have to pay for what they did on the earth. These scriptures come out all the time. We tell Jacob, according to the Bible, if you don't repent, you're going to have to pay for everything that you have done on the earth. The Lord is basically speaking through us, telling you Israelites, Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, and these heathens, but this word is for Israel. If you don't, the ones of our people that don't repent, you got to pay for everything, man. You're not going to be exempt from judgment. All you see is judgment going throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Judgment going throughout the four corners of the earth. I'm looking at the news that deadly crashes earlier this morning. People, man, people are paying for what they have done wrong on the face of the earth, man. No evils. Evils are only evils meaning bad times. The Lord got these evils catching up to you wicked people on the face of the earth, right? For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai, that everyone may receive the things done in his body. According to that, he have done, you see, whether it be good or bad. Everyone's getting a reward for the things that they're doing on the face of the earth. It's all playing out. That's why, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, which is the next verse. And then the scripture says, knowing all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are you to be? What should be your conduct? What should be our conduct? Knowing that the Lord is going to burn this place soon come, knowing that judgment is going forth, knowing that everybody has to pay for what they have been doing, man. On the face of the earth, everyone, man. You see? It says, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. See, we know the terror of the Lord, but guys are playing around. Doing these stupid parody videos, just joking all the damn time. It, it, it ain't all funny, all right? There ain't nothing wrong with a joke here and there, but shit, shit is serious. Life is serious, man. It, it's going down, man. We're, we're being faced with all kinds of obstacles, different situations. And this ain't the time to be playing around. This is the time to be praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that they put their spirit on us to continue to endure everything that's coming out of the pipeline, man. It's getting ready to really go down. The Lord said, Tribulation never seen before. We're going to get that, Lord willing, next. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we persuade men. The Lord got us doing videos every day. And guess what? Gas prices went up again. People feeling the squeeze, man. But I mean, these people act like they're not feeling the squeeze, but oh yeah, you're feeling the squeeze when you go to the damn grocery store, right? When it's time to pay that rent, oh yeah, most definitely, you're feeling that squeeze. You, you can play all you want to. When you go to the mall to try to get an outfit or whatever, if you buy it online, trust me, you're feeling the squeeze, man, all right? But all this judgment going on, man, you, you just never know when the Lord going to send one of them deaf angels your way because man know if not it's time. So guess what it say? Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We threaten you with the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. People complaining about how much the gas is, you see, and how much the gas pump's inaccuracy is. Oh, of course you're in Babylon. What you think? You're in Babylon. And all hell breaking loose. And you, you Israelites, the only thing you're thinking about is just the cares and affairs of this world. You still got Israelites, to this day, you still got Israelites telling them they're going to college. They want to do four more years. What? You, you, you're not redeeming the time. You, you, you're not seeing that these days are evil. College is not going to help you out, all right? You see, and it, um, shit, you got more pumps, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit, 
it ain't really no gas at these gas stations like talking about it, man. Whether it's done on purposely or by design, it don't it's still happening, man. All right. We persuade you, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. But we are made manifest unto the most high, and I trust also are made manifest in your country. And while you sitting there playing around, we persuading Jake, you know what I'm saying, through the spirit of Yahweh, by Shem uh, on the upcoming calamities, man. Let's just get Ephesians. Like I said before, I'm just flowing in the spirit. Let's just get Ephesians right quick. The fifth chapter. That's why we got to walk circumspectly. Wise, not as fools, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Ephesians chapter 5. I'm going to go straight to the point 15. See then that you walk circumspectly. Supposed to be looking around at what's going on, Jake. Jake is short for Jacob. Representing you so-called Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, and so-called the 12 tribes of Israel, right? That's who we are, the biblical Hebrew Israelites, right? See then that you are circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil, meaning bad. Meaning bad. Power outages, shit, fires everywhere. I mean, fires everywhere, man. And, look, and we got to warn our people of it. I mean, just it's just so much going on right about now. I mean, you, you can't even possibly uh, remember everything that's going on. But whatever the thing, the things that we can remember, we bring it out. We just bring this out. Like I said before, just a quick hit through the spirit for the elect of the nation of Israel. 2 Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. And we're living in perilous times now. Serious, hazardous, dangerous, uncertain times, man. We're, we're, we're living in that now. Look, oh, oh, it was all a dream, man. Oh, a big-ass dream. You see? A big-ass dream. You know what I'm saying? A big-ass nightmare. That's, that's exactly what this is. That's why, I got, that's why we got to constantly pray to Yahweh by Shema Shai to keep us, man. You see? Once again, 2 Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days, and these are the last days of the last days, perilous times shall come. We're living in perilous times now. But the Lord is going to turn up. Remember, this is the year of turn up. This is the year of turn up. And these false prophets ain't wanting nobody, man. Straight up. These false prophets ain't wanting nobody of what's really going down. They're too busy, they're too busy talking about us instead of bringing out the prophecy. It says you're supposed to be occupied in prophecy. All right? Meaning the things that are going on and the things that are coming, you're supposed to be letting people know before it even happens. That's what, you, that's what you're supposed to be meditating on, right? Say Matthew 24. And um, 6, and you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, right? For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So everything that we're seeing now, it's got to come. It's got to come. That's why we constantly pray to Yahweh by Shema. We're in a time of suffering, too. It ain't all lovey-dovey. It ain't all peaches and cream. It ain't all sugar and cookies, man. This is the time of mourning. All right? Everybody's going to have to get, everybody on the face of the earth is going to have to face their, their situation, so to speak. You see, their lot. You see, their role in the movie. You can't avoid it. Just, just brace for impact. Brace for impact. All these things must come to pass. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Race wars, we say it all the time. Race wars, class wars, civil wars, economic wars, the stock market gonna crash. People are gonna really lose it. If you don't got, see, if you don't got Isaiah 33 and 6, you know what I'm saying, in your head, embedded in your head, if, if your how about Shemel Shah doesn't give you the faith to believe, you know what I'm saying? That you, can, that you can make it through it and that you have help out here. You, you're going to bug out for real, for real. For nation, especially once you start seeing people out here wilding, for real. Shit, the majority of you people going to be scared to come out the house. You're going to be scared to look out the window at the madness that's going to be, be befalling these streets, man. These streets. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And look, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We give you warning. The love of many waxing cold. It is waxing cold, man. 
No one cares if you don't have anything. No one cares about you, Israel. No one got to say this every day because it's really for real, for real. Jeremiah, the 15th chapter, verse 5. Who shall bemoan the Israel? Who shall ask how you doing? Nobody. The lights go out. The lights just go out. Nobody. Like somebody going to bring some flashlight with some brand new batteries to your house. You, 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 have, you don't get it, do you? You, you just don't get it. You out here in this earth by yourself, man. You all by yourself. Verse 14, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And now this gospel then went forth. We, we, just, we, we just waiting on the end now. You see? 21. St. Matthew 24, 21. For there shall be great tribulation. Tribulation, man. Such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. The Lord is basically telling us it ain't never got this bad before. And no time in history. The Lord is like, yo, the flood can't even compare to what's coming. Do you not, do you Israelites don't do you not understand what the scriptures are saying? There has never been a time so destructive as what's coming, man. The Lord said you can't even compare the flood to what's coming. You can't even compare 7 AD. You can't compare when, when Lot, you know what I'm saying, got out of Sodom and Gomorrah, when, when the fire and the brimstone hit that place. You can't even compare. Put all that together. And it won't even compare to what's coming. You got Jacob's trouble. Get ready to pop off. For this shall be great tribulation. Such was not since the beginning of the world. To this time, no, nor ever shall be. But you're playing around, all right? You're playing around, and Allah, Buddha, Santa Maria, the Hindu God of Shiva, whatever God, you know what I'm saying, or idol you worship, your money, what have you, your woman, what have you, your car, your house, whatever you worship it, would not be able to deliver you from these times, man, only the Lord, because he's, he's bringing them, he, the Lord actually bringing them. And except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. This devil sleeps, he is going to come in like a madman, straight up. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be short. You better go read Revelation 12 and 12, Revelation 6 and 4, Job 9, 24, things of that nature. Remember, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, and you ain't got to believe it. And you, look, 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 missiles are going to drop. Missiles are going to drop. Bodies are going to rot. Come on, man. So, so what do we do? We warn you through the spirit of your Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, regardless of if they're here for a bear. Ezekiel chapter 3. Now we just say the point. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, our people before us a place. Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. It's gonna get bad out here. The Lord said earthquakes, storms, floods, famines, you name it, man. Sedition among men, invading one another, no pity whatsoever. The love of many has waxing cold. And that's dusty. The, oh, look, you see, I'm coming straight out the Bible with it. I'm not, I'm coming straight out the B-I-B-L-E with it, man. Let's get this right. I'm going to wrap it up after this. I got to roll out. Ezekiel 7. Let me just hit the point. <laughs> Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 5. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh bought Shem Yahweh in evil, meaning bad times, and only evil, more bad times, behold, it's come. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Evils, 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 evils. And the Lord said, Look, the thing that you're seeing now, it's going to be the, the evils that you're seeing right now. The Lord said, Greater evils than those which thou hast seen shall be done hereafter, man. You see? Greater evils, man. No escaping whatsoever. At least you repent. I ain't going to be the dead horse, man. I just wanted to throw something out there, man. You know, that, that's our job. Look, storms every day and well. Knocking out power. So, a whole lot of storms went through the Carolina. Persecuting them. Psalms 83rd chapter, verse 15. Fires every day and well. It's going down, man. Persecute them with your storms, you have about Shemesh. Lightning striking everywhere. This ain't no joke with ambulances, fire trucks. Shit, man. Oh, the average gas price falls by one cent overnight. What the hell is one cent gonna do? And you people, yeah, man, gas went down a penny. Yo, we good now, we good now. You jakes through, man. Shalom.